Rachel. Welcome. So, today's video is kind of like a thrift haul video. I really enjoy thrifting and just going out and seeing what I can pick up here and there. Maybe I could reuse some stuff or just kind of upcycle. So, today's haul is just some items that I've collected here and there throughout the past month or so and I don't know, I'm just excited to share them with you. They bring me so much joy so hope that you can sit back and just relax with me. So, my first item and it's a really big one is this big wooden boat not sure how well you can see it but this was something that my mom recently thrifted and I'm just going to use it as a plant shelf so has a shelf here and then a bottom so I just have to clean it out it's a little bit dusty and then possibly paint it and I'm not really sure what color I'm thinking maybe flowers but I don't know but yeah I love collecting plants. I have way too many, but somehow never enough, so this will be an awesome addition to my bedroom, and I can hang it. It has a little hook here, so I'll just hang it on the wall by like a screw or a nail. But yeah, I'm really excited about this. I always love new areas to be able to just sit more plants. So right now I have some uh, pomegranates back here. I know this says Tommy, but uh, it used to have a Tommy mango, but not anymore. <laughs> just little tiny pomegranate cuttings and they're really cool really all you do is just cut the branch off of any pomegranate tree put it in the soil and next thing you know it'll just start shooting out little branches and leaves so you can have a brand new pomegranate tree from one branch yeah not a lot of people know that so that's some new knowledge for you. I love sharing plant knowledge. This almost feels like it's made with very thin plywood or I don't know. But the wood is pretty thin on it. And the shelves seem pretty sturdy. But yeah, this was a really nice find. I honestly love it. I'm really excited. Oh, it looks like it was already painted. The bottom of it's blue and then it has pink and purple paint and maybe even a bit of yellow paint so hmm. I guess it's been repainted a few times well it's gonna get repainted another time <laughs> so my next item is this beautiful metal acorn 
and it's so cold. It's been sitting in my floor, but the little top screws off here. I can get it open. Oh, just like that. And I think this was a candle. So, I'm probably going to make my own candle with it. My own little version. And I can always sell this on my Etsy shop. I just pour in some soy wax and whatever else that you'd like, really. Like herbs, some acorns would be cool in this one. Maybe some rosemary or cedar. I don't know. But yeah, you just decorate the top. It's super fun and super easy. If you've never made a candle before. And they're very fun to decorate however you'd like. This is just so cool. This little metal acorn. I used to collect acorns when I was a kid. I would literally just shove them in my pockets every time I'd find them at school or on the sidewalk. <laughs> And now, as an adult, I still collect them and grow them, so, still collecting acorns. My nails were a lot longer, but I had to trim them, so they're short for this video. I hope that you don't mind. I definitely like longer nails for tapping, but sometimes I like to tap like this. Just with my fingertips. I love it. I can't wait. So, my next item This is a super duper fluffy 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 brush. Like the fluffiest brush I've ever felt in my whole life. <laughs> And it has a beautiful wooden handle. And I think maybe this is like a shave brush. Maybe for like a barber shop or... Mm, I have no idea. But it's not real hair, so that makes me feel good. And it's so soft. You can feel here. I have no idea how this sounds, so...
This brush is so soft, it doesn't even make sounds. <laughs> it's just so fluffy. So, my next item, this one is kind of like a package deal, but I know you're going to love it. So, my mom found these for me at the thrift, and it is all macrame hanging for hanging planters so I can put a plant here and this one is very long so this one holds a big plant in the bottom and then a tinier plant on the top and then it has this long tail just hanging down and I have not planted in these yet I have no idea where I'm gonna hang these or if I can hang them all from my ceiling or from the walls I do not know, but here's another one, and these all came in a box together, so she got them for, I think, three or five dollars, and this one holds one plant at the bottom, so this one's really cool. And then, it also came with this one that holds the biggest pot. It's for if you have like a big planter. This one's really cool. And this one is my favorite one because I love the beads on it and the sounds that the beads make. But this one has these beautiful, just super, I don't know, 70s decorative beads that are wooden. And it holds a big pot. And it's got these beads at the bottom. But this is just so gorgeous. I was so happy whenever I got these and I still can't wait to plant in them I'm still deciding on what I really want to hang where I want to hang it So, my next item is this beautiful clear glass jar. most likely going to paint this and I'm going to decorate it with another item 
that I found that I absolutely love and let me show you wooden bees a whole little bag and they just I think stick on so probably what I'll do is stick a few on here and then maybe clear paint or I'll use some clear gouache or something so that way they don't fall off and then maybe I could paint like a little honey beehive or I'm not for sure. <laughs> I have a lot of ideas. But I love finding clear slates like this. You really never know what you'll find thrifting. But I just, I pick up stuff everywhere I go, really. Can't help it. <laughs> it's just a habit. I'm absolutely in love with these bees. I really can't wait to use them. They're super cute. And I love that they're wood and not plastic. That's awesome. things in there. I'm guessing... Oh! A hundred! <laughs> it says a hundred scrapbooking wooden bees. It doesn't look like a hundred. Looks kind of like fifty. Another thing I found that I'm really excited about is this huge uh, pine cone. Yeah. And I don't know. It's gorgeous. I found this out hiking and I just love it. I think I might paint it or Maybe I'll stick little bees on there and sell it on my Etsy. Maybe I'll stick little lights in the middle. I think that would be so interesting. I have way too many crafts and way too many ideas. But pine cones are just gorgeous. Crazy to think about. These pine cones are actually the tree's flower. So, whenever a pine tree makes pine cones, it's technically flowering. Very interesting. Another interesting little way of thinking for you. I 
have a lot of ideas for this. And yeah, I didn't thrift that. I just found it. So I just find stuff and if I like it, I'll do something with it. I don't know. Another thing I found, hopefully this isn't weird, but I found this huge bottle in the neighbor's recycle. It's a Grey Goose bottle, but look how big this thing is. It's taller than my head. So, it's super heavy too, and what I think I'm gonna do is paint this, and I'm gonna try and sell it. Or I can put lights in it, or, I don't know, turn it into a vase, but it's so big, and I really didn't want it to go fully to waste, even though I recycle every single thing I can, I feel like I don't really know if the recycle places really try that hard, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't really know if a lot of the stuff that we recycled actually gets recycled. So, if I can ever find anything that I can try and up surface or up I, I don't know up cycle I guess that's what I want to do we have way too much of everything and a lot of trash that we could be using so I'm gonna see if I can use this and it literally has the best sounds the softest tapping sounds. I like how it's all matte. Whenever I found this, I was thinking, hmm. Maybe I could paint this and my paint will stick better since it's not all slick clear. Since it's somewhat matte, maybe that will help the paint to hold on a little bit better. Or I could even take a rope and rope it all the way around. And then it could be a big rope bottle. That would be interesting. Almost sounds like crystal. to make this into something. Again, I have way too many projects, so don't judge. I'll get to them eventually. So my next item that my sister thrifted for me is one of these. And she definitely has way too many of these, so I think maybe she just gave it to me. Because I don't think she wanted it. <laughs> but she did get it at the thrift. These things are fun to an extent, you know? I guess I'm not really one to fidget with things. But I know this relaxes a lot of people.
Sí, que me sirve un comen. So yeah, have one of these. And another item I found. This black candle here. It's a little bit beat up, but that's definitely no big deal. Because you can always smooth out any of the rough spaces all you have to do is just heat it up a little bit and smooth it out but with this i was thinking i can either decorate this maybe i could put flowers all around it and then I could sell it or I could even use the wax on my little spell jars I make or my little spell jar necklaces some of those have wax sealing them shut so maybe I could use this black wax I haven't really fully decided yet but everything I get always has some sort of potential, so. And I also got this box of pink Himalayan salt. And I think this was my boyfriend's mom's. And she was just selling it at her yard sale, so I went ahead and snagged it. But I can use this salt for literally everything, for cleansing my crystals, or my spell jars, or even my bedroom. There's pretty much limitless potential for this, so as soon as I saw she was getting rid of it, I was like, oh yeah, I'm snagging. Some of them are like a lot darker than the rest. But yeah, this has limitless possibilities, so that's why I got this. And then I also have these. At the Amazon return warehouse, it's kind of like a bins place where they just have bins full of just random Amazon return products. And they have bins full of these uh, pop sockets. And with these ones, I'm definitely thinking I can sell them. Um, on my Etsy, I'll paint them or bedazzle or I have no idea. I could do whatever I want. I could put the bees all over them. So I don't know. But yeah, I really, really like these. And I, I don't know. I always have a pop socket on my phone and it's definitely seemed to help me not drop my phone as much. So if you're a person that uses a lot of pop sockets, definitely keep an eye out for these on my Etsy. And I'll have the link uh, down below in the description, so don't forget to check out my shop or even my boyfriend's shop, um, Year One Organics, because we sell all kinds of foods and plants and just, you know, plant medicine, so... If you're interested in anything like that, definitely give us a, a look. So, my very last item. This is just silly and super cute. My mom found this for me. It's just a little cat face. And I guess you put it on uh, 
your car it says cat toilet seat wall sticker i'm definitely not sticking this on my toilet but i mean i guess i could that would be so funny my 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 little sister would freak out if she saw that but yeah it's so cute it's like a little cat breaking through but yeah big kitty cat eyes staring at you <laughs> i just thought that was silly and funny but yeah so that's pretty much all for this video and all these items have a lot of potential and they just bring me a lot of joy so i really hope that you enjoyed spending this time with me and just letting me chit chat with you i have a lot more videos coming out soon so i'm probably making videos forever it feels like i have a whole list that i'm just slowly working my way towards i got a lot of videos coming this november and this december so keep a lookout subscribe if you haven't already if you want to be updated or notified when my videos come out then hit the bell notification and yeah don't forget to like my videos and of course until next time be well